Yeah, I think when we were, when we were chatting before, you summarized yourself as the outsourced automation department. And I, I love yeah. that. I love that because I think it just helped people see that we, we often talk about outsourced marketing and outsourced sales teams or outsourced creatives yep. and, and all those sorts of things. Um, and we're, we're now entering an era where outsourced automation, lots of business owners are my age and a bit older. And I'll be honest, like a lot of business owners who are my age struggle with the idea and concept of automation, what can and can't be automated. Yeah. So, it's fascinating to see like a young guy like yourself just getting out there and being active. One of the things that we touched on when we very first interacted on that post on LinkedIn actually was I was talking around the anxiety of being a business owner and how it's really stressful for me because like I've got bills to pay up a mortgage and kind of yeah. lots of things resting on my shoulders at home and I can't afford to take many gambles. I've got to make sure that the gambles I take are right. And Literally. you were commenting that you don't really feel that pressure. I'm I can't imagine that must be really exciting for you that, that you can just take those oh, risks is. and not worry. Yeah, I think with the nature of being so young, I'm still living under my parents' roof. I haven't got any fixed overheads yet, yet until I start paying boards. It's going to be, I've got just, I've got the freedom to experiment. So loads of business owners, the, as you said, you've got risks that you need to balance out with your priorities and your responsibilities. Whereas I think. Initially, it's just throwing mud at a wall, seeing what sticks, and that kind of works for a lot of it because as automation is such an expansive space, AI keeps evolving, things keep getting better and better. I've just got the opportunity to just keep throwing things at the wall, seeing what works, see what doesn't. And then when it does work, keep going at that and figuring out, okay, this part of the business model worked. Let's look at the next part and just think around that as well. So it's very exciting to not have any responsibilities in it also. I think clients really value it as well. So when I'm, I've got a lot of free time now, I'm on school holidays. So I've just finished my exams, as Paul mentioned earlier on, I've got jealous. loads of free time. So jealous, yeah, but still I'm working full days pretty much. So I think clients really value the fact that I'll just go away and I'll experiment with loads of things. They'll say, we've got this workflow in, in ideas, we kind of know what we want and I'll just go away and experiment with a bunch of things. and do the nitty gritty parts of technical bits that would take them loads of time to learn. I already know it. And it's just a case of solving the puzzle. And that's another thing that's really exciting about business, just solving things like you have an issue, you've got a problem, you just keep working to solve. It. And then when you do, when it does click, you realize, oh, it wasn't as hard as it was. And yeah, I've got the freedom to do that, which is really promising. So I'm just going to make the most of it, make sure I don't waste time while I've got no response, no responsibilities of financial responsibilities and make sure that I make the most of the freedom. Yeah. There, there's such an amazing future for you out there. Like to be, to be, I hope I'm sure so, yeah. anybody who's listening to this podcast will be sat there in, in a bit of disbelief that, that you talk so fluently the business language at the age that mm -hmm. you are. We've spent the weekend miserable after the, the La Mina Mal Spanish team. Yeah. And, and but seeing such a, a raw talent at such a young age come in, I can't help feel that you, there's parallels there for me with, with what you're trying to yeah, do. Yeah. I mean, if only I'm the Lamina Mall of business, I'll, I'll hey, take it hey. definitely. Grant Cardone, are you watching? Are you watching Grant Cardone? 